Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth James Cole and welcome to a little look at the six LP and SP architect homes that we got in the Sims 3 Play on about the 4th, 5th of July 2016. We have already taken a look at the 10 simoleon houses. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it on the screen now and also post it down below. If you watch that video, you will know my opinion on those homes. Let's see what we're getting for our LPs and our SPs, see if it is any better. I'm going to show you all of these houses on a premium lot. I think probably they can all be built, they look like they might all be able to build, be built on a standard size lot. So just bear that in mind because it is cheaper to build things on a standard size lot than it is on a premium lot. So here is the first home. This is 240 LP, but it could be built on a standard size lot. At the end of the video, I'll just go through and show you what they would be built, what they would cost to build on a standard size lot. So let's have a little look. Is it one? Yes, it's one story. So the entrance is over here. I love this wallpaper. It really is one of my favourites. And they've got a massive, yeah, just a huge big open plan living area there. And come through into a kid's bedroom. Back here, there's got some of the spa furniture here. If you didn't manage to get that, they've got the double bath, double shower, and the huge big sink, which I love. I've never used it yet, but I will do at some point. Um, cheap sort of kitchen, cheap furniture, and there's a bedroom back here, a double bedroom. Again, how is it worth that amount of LPs? I'm not sure. Maybe because it's got the spa stuff in. There is nothing else that is worth LP particularly. Maybe the trampoline. Second house. This is 308 LPs but can be built on a standard. And it is two floors. It is two floors. Let's take a little look. It looks quite nice actually. Oh, there's a little like inner courtyard area. Oh, this looks nice. Let's uh, Let's hope it is nice inside. So we go through, it's kind of medieval style, through into here. Oh, we've got like a little manicure-y, spa-y type area here. If you didn't get those items, you can build this house and get them. Oh, we've got a fish tank back there. Kitchen, nice little kitchen there. Fish tank, oh, they've got the falls, what's it called? I can never remember what that's called. You know what I mean, Serenity Rains, is it called? Something like that, Serenity Rains. Um, what's this? Oh, some spa sinks, Some quite a few little bits of spa stuff around. There's a nice little courtyard, that's what's out there. A little table and chairs. This area's nice. Nothing sort of LP or SP cost at the moment. And kind of a little study area. Quite nicely decorated and everything, in all honesty. I quite like that. How do we go upstairs? Oh, here's the stairs over here. Let's go up. And, oh, we go up into another lounge area. I don't know how, what, what has that got to do with the theme? I love that there's that, that bookshelf there. Um, Let's have a little sort of a bathroom. A, not a bathroom, sorry. A bedroom, which goes out onto this balcony. That's a nice, that's a nice little area. I like that with an ensuite with some more spa stuff, and oh, it's like a connecting bathroom, so you can connect, you can get to the bathroom from either one of these bedrooms. That's handy. It's got some spa windows as well. When I turn around, they go. There you go. You can see them from this side. Spa windows, and what else have we got up here? Oh, we've got a little. Little area there to do some quilting and a nice uh, area outside here. It's a nice house. I quite like the build, but it is nothing sort of LP, SP worthy. I suppose if you weren't around for the spa event, it might be quite useful to get some of the spa items. But other than that, probably not useful to anybody else particularly. This is the last LP home and it is 529, but can be built on a standard lot and it looks like it's oh oh my goodness there's lots of floors okay let's take it back down so first floor is this uh some apartments i think this looks like apartments because here's like the reception area here and then like the lift shaft yeah because the lifts then go up okay so it's apartments these 
and I wonder because I thought the theme for these was supposed to be like cottages I wonder whether they don't get enough designs of sort of cottage themes because this is not a cottage is it I don't know interesting anyway because I was like trying to design my own cottage to submit and I think I posted on my Facebook that like I was trying to do it and I knew that I wouldn't get it done and submit it because I just start building and if you kind of been watching these videos for a while you will know that I start building things and just get kind of bored and half-heartedly done that it's half done and you know it's left and I start it up again like a year later or something daft but anyway this is not a cottage this is apartment so we've got ooh an SP um the Scandinavian TV that's SP are these the SP windows I think they are aren't they oh um yes they are yeah, yeah SP windows Nice little kitchen area, and I'm getting quite confused. It's all gone tiny. Office area there with fish tank. Some spa doors. Okay, a little bathroom, whatever. So we go up on the lift to the next apartment. So it's kind of one apartment per floor. This is like the bachelor pad looks like. We've got this blue computer. This is must be LP, SP, SP, I think. And what else have we got? The designer kitchen. Bit of spa furniture there. Some of the urban, is it the urban bookshelf? I can't remember, but I really like that bookshelf. Okay, that is that one. Then go up to the next one. Ooh. These are worth something, aren't they? These, I think. I never use them. That's how I can tell when something is worth LP or SP because I am very tight with my LP and SP. And so generally, like the kitchen units, I don't... They are odd looking in all honesty, aren't they? I don't know if I like them. Hmm, let me know. What do you guys think about those uh, kitchen surfaces? So we've got... Oh, we've got a fish tank over here. And what else have we got? Anything? Oh, I can see a telly. Fancy telly over here. Must be worth something that Tate TV because I have not got them in my town. Yeah, that's quite a nice little little building there. Right, so let's go up the last floor. Was that the last one? Yes. This is the last building. We've got another fish tank over here. Uh, what else have we got? Some of the if urban kitchen. If you haven't... Is it urban? Am I saying that right? I may be saying that completely wrong. The urban furniture kitchen. If you didn't get any of that, and some musical instruments, oh, that computer, I want that computer, so bad, that's worth some LPs or something, let's have a little look, and they've all got balconies out here, all slightly different balconies, with some different little things on, some of the romantic furniture. Okay, there we go. That is, there's a lot of those windows actually, a lot of SP windows, an awful lot of SP windows and doors. Right, there you guys, that is that one. Here is our first SP house. This is 197, but could be built on a standard again. Oh, two floors. And this looks nice. Very sort of light and airy. I like how it feels. I imagine this kind of being like more of like a holiday home, like somewhere, I don't know. Oh, it's nice. Like, yeah, look, on the river or, like, by the pool or whatever. Yes, I like the look of this. This is my type of style of build. Really nice. Lots of the urban furniture stuff. Some spa stuff back here. Nice little outdoor area with the serenity rains thingamabob. <laughs> and let's go upstairs. And there is a bedroom. Is it just one bedroom? Yes, just one bedroom with a walk-in wardrobe with a little meditation area and a huge big bathroom over there with a little, little computer desk there. And a nice outdoor area. I love this build. There is, like, it's not worth it in terms of... I'm saying that there's quite a lot of the SP windows. I think there's six SP each. There is loads of those. This one might actually... Be worth it in terms of what you get for your SPs. Possibly. That's a nice build. 
The second SP is 373 SPs, but could be built on a standard. And, ooh, it, again, it's sort of very sparry type feel about it. What have we got? We've got some fish tanks. Lots of spa stuff. Oh, there actually is a spa. A sauna, sorry, not a spa, a sauna. And through, is it maybe not, It's. I think maybe it isn't a house. This is not a house, it is a little, like a little sauna, because there's no bedrooms or anything, I don't think. No, there's like a manicure room here. Pedicure room. The kitchen area, so you can eat. You can't sleep. <laughs> that's that's quite a nice little, quite a nice little build. But lots of money. And here is the last house, four hundred and fifty SP. Again, can be built on a standard. It is one story, and let's have a look what we get for it. So, um, I'm quite confused. Hang on, let me follow it. So first off, there's a bedroom here that goes into there's a mud room, but you can also get to that mud room from this bedroom here. This bedroom goes into this like makeout room here, so you get the makeout couch. There's this chair, a stool that I don't think you can get anymore. Um, what have we got on this side? You go into a single bedroom that goes into a bathroom that goes into a kitchen. What on earth that goes into the dining room? This is a very it's like. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, right, and then we go here into the living area, the little dance floor over here, and a little place to sit by the fire, a little place to watch telly. Why is this worth 450 SP? It's, what windows have they used? I have no idea why that is worth 450 SP. Right, I'm quickly going to go to a standard size lot and show you the prices there. So here are the prices for the houses on standard size lots for me. I don't know whether they are different, the SP and the LP ones, depending upon how many houses you've built in your town. Let me know down below in the comments if you've got different prices than me. But they are so, so expensive. I'll tell you my sort of thoughts on it is that I am... Um, think that I think they're far too expensive for people to ever build. And also, like when you know when you're playing your game and you get that pop-up to say, build a like a cottage, we've had one recently build a cottage, we've had like um, spring break homes or I can't remember any others but we've had different pop-ups that say build a house in this style and submit it. For me I feel that I would rather have two or three or you know maybe more, maybe up to five, five cottages that people have built sort of each time, each time they have a theme and we go with that theme and get a couple of houses from that theme I think that's a really nice idea, whereas I don't know whether they're just not getting the submissions or they don't really sort of check them in any way or, I don't know, the process of these houses is, I would just like to know like how it's done and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you're one of your houses that have ever been featured in the Architect Homes, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, I am quite disappointed with with these houses, just the price of them, I mean, I don't know. And I want to, I don't know, I'm going to stop moaning because I feel like that's what all I ever do when I do an architect homes is I'm like, oh, don't, oh that's rubbish, that's rubbish. So, no, I'm going to not moan. I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments about these architect homes. I think, I don't think I'm on my own in my views. I think quite a lot of people are quite sort of disappointed in how the architect homes thing is going. Let me know your views down in the comments anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!